and it's not very exciting, but I guess it's fine. Do have a lot of lands already, but I guess I'll still get headquarters. They might counter that, especially if they have a free drop. Be a pretty good play. I did briefly consider just playing Hierarch. Okay. Maybe they're playing the Sakenzan. A spicy meatball. Mm. Kind of chilling. They're not doing much. Endurance is like not super amazing against them. If I play higher cap solitude mana next turn hard cast, which wouldn't be bad. I could just witness too, but it would be nice to maybe try and witness with backup ephemerate. None of my options are super amazing. I may just play endurance to go. But then, yeah, then there's a omnath problem. Isn't it tap out for omnath? I get to go. Witness, ephemerate my witness, get back ephemerate solitudes. It's not even that great. Oh, that's not how it works. Never mind, I'm dumb. Um, whatever. I'll just play endurance. Welcome back. Hmm, nice thing. Nice thing. Hey, day CB. Welcome back as well. Thanks for the 21 months. Playing Hyrick way better against Omnath, just cast Solitude, yeah, maybe. It might just be weirdly mana efficient to cast a Hyrick over to Endurance here. Yes, in the end. Didn't seem like it really mattered. Hmm. The end of the world, but a little scary for sure. So what are my options here? It would be nice to get two creatures that can attack and play. So maybe Hierarch Endurance. Get a get a get an attacker into play and get extra mana for next turn. Witnessing back a land, not the worst play in the world, honestly. I might need the extra mana. Down the line. Probably gonna flood though. <clears throat> I have six cards. Not great. None of my options are that great. I guess they can't go on that fetch. Mountain and Sakenzan, that's kind of nice. Witness the land. Hmm. Looks like you might have been right again. Let's see. You got Endurance over Ewit. I don't know, maybe get back a Solitude or something. Yeah, I don't have great Witness targets, I guess. And I could go like Witness Hierarch maybe next turn. 
Here I am. And I could hard cast solitude. I'm kind of dying slowly but surely. I mean, that's got to be the play, right? Mimic witness. All right, this first play that comes to mind. I'm already a little low on time. Yeah, I should definitely play a little faster. <laughs> have no fetch lands in the yard somehow. Is there a Ren? Might just mimic next turn. Maybe witness first. Witness the land into mimic. No, I guess mimic into wall. And they let me. Oh, they had a land. Um, I think mimic's good enough. They might have a counter spell anyways. And then they get solitude in response. I still get to copy a wall. Who dress down? How does that work? Um, all right, that kind of family dev. Did it just die? Did it just kill the mimic? Oh, good beats. All oh, dress down was going to be good either way there. I'm not in the greatest shape. In case it wasn't clear. I think Spike was implying this matchup was fine because of Time Warrior and Witness in part, but I don't have cheap removal. Teferi is usually really annoying when you're playing an ephemery deck. It's not like my draw was atrocious either, and their draw was awesome. Yeah, play Soul Herder in this deck. Yeah, four Soul Herders. Seven cards in hand for them. And a witness now. Just for a counter spell. Do I get to get rid of Teferi? No, I don't. Oh, do I? No. Um. I have counter spell in hand. I don't really see myself winning this game. Should I maybe not scoop just because of time warp? Seems kind of hard to set up. All right, how does he sideward in this matchup? Arch tender, time warp in, deputy endurance out. <clears throat> so he likes the first endurance over solitude and vencer. Interesting. I guess you want to keep your companies uh, strong. I guess Vencer is pretty bad in this matchup. I mean, they have a few expensive spells, but the 2-2 two -two doesn't do much for you. One Endurance Hall is kind of nice, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Counter spells plus Teferi, yeah. It's, I mean, that's pretty stock. Uh, four color list. Ugh. I mean, hand's not great, but I think I have to keep. Thing is, is they have a decent amount of removal spell, and they can pick you apart if 
if you mulligan roll too much. Guess I'll get forced instead of hollowed fountain in hand. Hmm. I get shock just in case that are ephemerate. Might be worth the two damage, honestly. If I will now, I could draw. I mean, already can counter wall. Do I care? I guess having the fresh part to fair is important. Okay, I'll say go. Yeah, I should just ice fang now. We know they don't have ran in six. How important is that ice fang? Oh, ice fang. Kind of looks like I have ephemerate too because I shocked. <laughs> nice. Oh, I should have maybe got another white mana source. Oh. Mm. All the ephemerates. Careful what you wish for. I might jam a, a time more. Oh, I should maybe play a land first. Off chance they have endurance. That's all loose. Yeah, I think I like playing time warp first. Just save my solitudes for an actual creature. It's not the greatest use of the card, but something. Doesn't look like time warp's gonna be great anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, these games did not feel especially close. We even had the luxury to take uh, one damage on their Teferi. No big deal. It's painful to watch, yeah, I agree. Well, that was okay for me, I guess. Is playing time warp first any good? Not really. Is playing the mimic good as a land? Hmm. Probably. Let's see what he says about the four color matchup. I'm curious. Oh, I guess in the deck guide, he doesn't give a little overview of some of the tough matchups. Maybe he talks about it in card choices. All right, what's going on? They bounce my solitude and they put Yurion in their hands. Is that what happened? Oh, they played another Teferian plus. Okay. Hmm. Naked Solitude, yikes. Could use a man land, yeah, I mean. Could use a lot of cards that can start making up a uh... Can stop making up cards that are reasonable to play in a deck. Could use a, a a red splash for fry right now. Maybe some uncounterable hexproof creature. That'd be pretty good too. Sounds like a whole whole lot of chatting to me.
Maybe um maybe the games aren't so bad when they don't have to fair in play. Don't feel as bad. Troll, yeah, run. They only have five cards in hand. Probably involves one of them being a counter spell. I guess I have to time or bait. Well, it's not really bait. Probably want to counter that. Okay, now I have to do that. I have to hope they don't have a shot, a bolt, or an unholy for my solitude. Oh, their own ephemerate. Well, that totally does not wreck me. Totally fine. This is fine, chat. We are doing just fine. This is fine, fine, all part of the plan. Got them to tap out. Now we get to resolve Ooh, it actually kind of almost is part of the man. That was that is kind of close. If I had one more land, I'd probably just win. Am I gonna lose because I don't have double green? Because I never fetched another duel at any point in the game. So unreal sometimes. I'm actually so unreal sometimes. Uh, I mean, it's not like the effect is immediate, but it's definitely a big deal not to have witness and time warp in hand right now. A well, lesson learned. I see a lesson learned, but it's like really not because I've made these mistakes a million times with a million different decks. So lesson probably not learned. I give that time warp in hand was witnessing. Maybe it's better that I don't have witness in place somehow. I doubt it though. That's for green. Yeah, I need another source of green. I need a triple green, one for company, two for two for witness. Yeah, I definitely would have been nice to have the time warp in hand here. Would have felt way more threatening. Witness for what ephem and ephemerate. Oh, Mystery in Forest. That's trouble. I guess I have enough mana for Yurion plus ephemerate. Hmm. Why did Endurance spike 100 ticks? I mean, it was already around 60 or 70. I don't know what created the extra spike. Maybe it's played in even more formats now, or it's getting rarer. Maybe there's just more demands and the same amount of supply there was before. Sounds kind of straightforward, but yeah, 100 is a lot. We can get that counter spell. Oh, they have three extra man up. I agree, it might be time to concede. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have. I mean, I might have played this deck anyways, but I was under the impression he had a, a reasonable four color matchup. It's not seem like. I mean, this is probably the worst version for us. Counterspell and Witness Ephemerate seems kind of good in the long run. But it's also close to what most people play nowadays. If it's not that, it's Traverse. Should I attack? I mean, I probably have to, but 
Oh, I have I have Forge Tinder for uh that's okay. I have Forge Tinder. Uh, I forgot this LNF was red. I actually get to protect my soul herder. Would have been fine with any pressure on tap at all. Yeah, but you it, you you don't have pre you can't pressure tap. You have nothing pressure. It's not like it's ever gonna happen, basically. And the best you can hope for is a bunch of hierarchs and stuff. And make the fairy much worse. But hmm. I'll keep playing a bit. I'm not sure it makes sense. They might have just kind of a loop where I'm really like actually locked out of the game. Blink witness, get back ephemerate, ephemerate witness, get back call. Few skyclaves, yeah, you could play skyclaves over over deputy. Deputy's much better in a bunch of spots though, especially against Urza Saga tokens. I've definitely won at least a game or two because of that interaction. Venser to bounce the tap. I mean, that's not gonna save me. It's not efficient enough. That was random. I mean, I'm not a big fan of America either, but, or not too many countries in general and governments, but a little extreme. Can they beat me? I mean, they can deck me if anything. And they probably can get to a point where they always have counter spell up. There's a pro Geo turn on, Geo gets return going on and they invite the greatest to ever play. Who would that be? Definitely not me. I'm actually not even that good at Geo Guesser. Like I never bothered to uh like learn the the meta stuff. That's a good time to match. But I'm not even that high on the life totals. I'm not even really gaining life or anything. Blown out, right? Come on, yes. How does this deck win against Living End? I'm guessing a mix of Solitude and Endurance. Was that like meddling mage after sideboard? I guess they're probably decent against living end. Meddling mage for endurance. Solitude can get them. The big games go a little long. You can slow them down and time warp loop. Just forget about Ice Fang Death Touch or the Verdict, I guess. Verdict will probably do it. But I guess that the Living End is the worst matchup, really. Seems weird. Seems weird that Living End would be your worst matchup. Can you send me a sweet list to try? I mean, I won't try it today, but maybe. Definitely send me the list, we can take a look. Hmm. What should I do, witness on witness, I guess? 
it's just they actually like tapped out right and they only have blue and white i mean what just happened do i just win did they just punt oh they have just downright does a little too good to be true Oh yeah, they could have had just sighted in hand too. Stepped on Discord. Damn, you're making me open Discord. Gonna be another leak. Leaking the Discord chats, the exciting Discord chats. Healy's just too good for a stream decker list. Four giver of runes, four hierarch, one forge tender, four vizier of remedies, four devoted druid, four a light emery skull, four serum powder, two extraction specialists, one endurance, one solitude, four launch, four finale of devastation, one ballista. Definitely does not seem like a very fun deck to play. Seems like either you kill them or you do nothing. Sorry, Ellie. Does not seem very fun to me. Let's see. Let's see if we've got what to save us. Our Lord and Savior. Win turn free a bunch. Win winning turn free sounds like the upstate of fun. What's fun about winning? I mean, you don't even get to play magic. You just win right away. Sounds awful. Have you met me? Winning is fun. That is true. That is true. Winning is fun. Yeah, classic deck reviews. I didn't call his deck trash. I just said it didn't sound that fun to me. Seems good. Made myself a little uh, Greek dish yesterday. Briam. It's like eggplants and it's like pretty basic. It's like eggplant, zucchini, tomato sauce, garlic, parsley, and some cheese on top. The way they did it over there was just zucchini and eggplant, but the recipes I looked up online all had like potatoes in them. So I'm not sure which one's the most traditional. I don't really need potatoes. I mean, potatoes would be just fine. But... Well, hopefully we're not playing against a Wapo Disciple. No more, um, no more Teferi Time Ravelers for me, please. Hopefully it's just Merc Tide. We turn on the cooking stream. Probably when I get my new phone. I'm gonna lie, Ice Fang plus Land was some good draws. Might want to just play Witness into Counter Spell. Kind of bad against Counter Spell plus though. I think it's all too bad against Counter Spell plus Iteration. I don't think I care that much about being mana efficient because. It's pretty hard for me to fall behind this game. I guess I'm being mana efficient in some ways because I'm denying them their use of mana. It's probably getting countered. Maybe not. I think I can safely ephemerate wall here, right? I wonder if they're playing not Merc Tide, since they haven't played a creature yet. They also have Spire Bluff Canal, so... I wonder if they're playing a more control version of the red deck. Doubt it. 
Probably a handful of charm counter spells, etc. It's kind of rough not to counter one mana draw two, but also then their shields are down if they do counter. Mm. Okay, it's still a two for one for me. I think this is definitely a witness. Especially with the second one in hand. Even better reheated. Just sat in sat in the fridge for a day. Let's see. Should I just get a shock land? Shields down. <clears throat> I'll get a shock land for now. Which one though? <clears throat> Gotta be witness if I try it. Right. Oh, Chef Solitude first, probably. Sorry, rip. Well, I guess they're drawing one either way. Awkward. It's probably actually kind of close between land and wall when I'm gonna when I'm gonna solitude anyways. Yeah. Loose, loose as a goose. Trying to throw, uh, trying to throw the game. Blast Aqua says, "Guess who is the loser who just owed to the qualifier?" It happens to the best. Sorry, no, no one's a loser for doing poorly at a magic tournament. Link of the deck won't work, really. Hmm. It was working earlier. Weird. Pretty sure it was working earlier. All right, might as well fetch. I guess I'll keep fetching uh, dual lands. And who would I rather lose? I think I would rather lose a witness than a nice fang at this point in the game. I'm not especially close. Hmm. Time warp doesn't do a ton for me here. Let's play some wonderful walls. Not sure. Kind of feels like the game could slip away. If they have everything they need, mm, probably not. <laughs> you know what was missing? Oh, baguettes, some good bread. Definitely punted not getting some earlier. Nice monkey, yeah. About the saddest ragman ever. 
what are we doing, Norm? We only we only update uh, titles when we win for max clickbait. Max uh, shameless clickbait. Honorable, honorable Norm. Decklist doesn't work. I think it worked earlier. I think it might be something wrong with Stream Deck error. All well, jokes kind of on me. My hand's just not doing anything. I mean, I, I don't think I should deputy Ragavan just to be able to attack with witness, right? That seems pretty loose. Kind of water filler, just stock. The stock Brita pitcher and nothing fancy. It doesn't even have the little thingy on top. You know, sometimes they'll have the little. I actually tried to, I actually reached out to Brita Filter a year or two ago to try and get my stream sponsoring, but kind of hit a dead end and I never tried again. My basic snow, they are. Touch on the ice thing right now. Hash sponsored by Brita. That's me, Mean Fanny Pack, Hash sponsored by Mean Fanny Pack. 52 months was a tier one. You in the mix, uh, Mean Fanny Pack today? Snow Duels. I didn't really consider much. I copied uh, Spikes lists. There's a few matchups where you'd be happy, you know, especially against Hammer Time and stuff. Not the worst idea in the world. Not sure if it's worth it. Usually not worth it. Hmm. So what do I miss out on? I miss out on the one point of damage and then more. I might be deputy time, honestly. Like Oliver just fat fingered some mod command. <laughs> Could backfire, we'll see. We do have five cards in hand. But I guess since I have solo going on. I would need to pressure them and not just let them cast more and more. Oh, they already have four iterations in the yards. That kind of changes things, I guess. Maybe playing Deputy is worse when they've already played all their iterations because not are less likely to like pull far ahead. I was like, I have a Deputy backup. I have a nice thing in play. So I'm not too, too scared of Merc Tide, but... Yeah, should have been. Looks like I could actually lose now. And before Anger of the Gods. I've seen some Angers in some sideboards recently. Maybe not in Merc Tide, though. Gonna take the two damage. I mean, I guess I just lose now if they just have a, a removal spell and a counter spell. What a throw. Oh, uh, bad feeling. Well, no, not really. That was bad. They, they lulled me in a false sense of security. Plus, they're just so likely to have another Ragavan. I actually can't believe I cast a deputy to get rid of Ragavan and punch through like. <sighs> so bad. <laughs> what was I thinking? Classic. Classic post dinner. Uh, Brain fog. 
Well, that was bad. I already played all their removal spells. Holy Heat, Bolt, Bolt, Free. Only free removal spells. Somehow. All right. Never punished, I guess. Let's see if we can bait out a counter spell. What are the odds they have a removal spell and just didn't cast it last turn? Also, what am I supposed to do here? Just take the two ledger shredders, I guess. I mean, that would be some insane discipline. Also, if I ephemerate witness and have a removal spell, at least they, uh, maybe they'll charm enough turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna say go. They'd probably charm if they have charm. Maybe not, maybe they wouldn't charm. Scared of counter. Yeah, mostly scared of, mostly don't want to jam a fan right into a counter. Like, I'm, I'm kind of in the driver's seat in that spot, I think, because I have a must counter, they have to deal with Ice Fang. I think my draw steps are maybe a bit better than theirs because they don't have iteration left in their deck. And I have, I guess we both have very few lands. Maybe that's not true. That's kind of tricky. That's a spot where maybe I should ephemerate. I guess I'm gonna just hold it. Man, that playing that deputy was just so atrocious. It's just minus one relevant spell. It's gonna make make or break this game. Yeah, let's try to stay ahead on clock, I guess, at least. I mean, 100% have a counter spell. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, though. Come wave, come wave, I, I did what I did this game, that was so bad. Tilts. I mean, maybe the extra spell wouldn't even have the matter. I, I actually can't believe I lost this game. Oh, I was doing so well. I mean, they did drop four iterations and then talk 30 cards, but it felt like I was still okay. I guess not. Wait, what do we cut in this matchup to bring in all these great cards? A witness. Walls, I think he cuts. I'm not a fan of cutting walls. What did I do last time? Don't want to cut Mimic, don't want to cut Wall. Oh, I cut an Ephemerate. Just cut another witness. Like even endurance is not that great, honestly. But they're not playing Chandler. It's like fine, but I don't think it's amazing or anything. Yeah, I don't want to cut a mimic. It doesn't make too much sense to cut a a Coco target slash land in his deck already on the like it's already kind of borderline all of it. Same spike, same less spike waves. Why not target Coddle instead of Witness? It didn't really matter, right? I said just went for super high upside play. Like the the, the Witness body didn't make a difference at this point, but you, you're probably it's like kind of greedy, but in an irrelevant kind of way. How many rounds? Eight, eight today. 
there's over 120 players it's eight rounds there's over 256 players it's nine rounds usually the saturday one gets over 128 so it's usually eight rounds hmm. i does get rid of solitude because i've deputy of detention I think maybe getting basic Allen is nice. They might have Blood Moon and. Hmm. Could almost get basic Force here with my hand. I'm gonna start building up basic counts for Ice Fang. And basic Force kind of makes more sense, right? Actually. Wow. Jeez. That sucks. It sucks to find up losing my decent matchup. Spell pierce for creature and that's spell snare. Counters uh target spell is mana value two. Not like this. Not like this. All right, we get to play Magic at least. Yeah, some people have started playing Spell Snare. I think Jockey Adam likes it. It was, seems kind of fine. Ren's pretty big problem. Shredders, lots of cards. Oh, <clears throat> I think this is gonna be a rough one. I think they're just gonna pick me apart. I'm all, all behind. Okay. Not in the worst spot, I guess. I think there's issues with Stream Decker right now. Or maybe the link is too old. Does it does it like wait, why is it showing why is it showing a stream? Yeah. I'm not crazy, right? It was working earlier at the beginning of the stream. That was pretty decent draw. Bait a counter spell and get a little card advantage going. It's not much, but get up side to the shredder first, actually. So I don't get to loot, even if I'm I don't know if I can afford to keep two for one in my cell though. It's not great, but I think it's what I have to do. Kind of like picture poison, like two for one myself on the shredder, and they're even up more cards, or I'll let them have the shredder and let's recycle some kind of useless cards. I probably probably should have just bit in the bullet and use solitude there. Eternal justice, that's who beat us last round. Four color against oh wafo. Wafo's nemesis for color control. Damn shredder. Shredder thousand bolts. Pretty good play against my deck, pretty safe. <laughs> right, I have an ephemerate. I forgot about that. Nice. 
It's not much, but it's all something. All something something. Where does Howard cast Solitude, right? That was decent. Yeah, Jace is... Um, they played well too, Vance in the Endurance, playing around removal. Ah, oh, sigh. Big sigh. Rio into free two. Oh well. Maybe we can still rally and somehow have amazing breakers and top eights. Mm. Yeah, man, here pretty badly. I mean I guess I'll just bait, but I'm not sure why I did that main phase, don't ask. Do I have invoked endurance? Mm, what does that do for me? Yeah, also it's not the timing doesn't work. I could probably just I mean I'm probably close to zero percent. I guess I won't scoop. Yeah, I'm throwing that game one was was tough. More expensive spells. Know what I need right now. You never know. Maybe they just don't have a counter spell. Huh. Funny. Funny gab. It does discarding lightning bolts. Thanks. Oh no, what have I done? Whatever. It's GG anyways. Man, felt so uh, so smooth uh, well, last time we played against Merc died earlier. And this one was rough. Can never get going. Didn't draw a single Ice Fang this game. Not that it would have really mattered past the first few turns. I just fell so far behind. Doesn't want to scoop them up. Maybe I shouldn't. I, I don't think I can really win. I mean, they might literally have lethal on their turn too. All right, good games. I should have played a bit better in game one. All right, chats. It's been a while. I think it's time for some Geo Guesser. Twitch TV's Frank. Exactly. I love it when someone actually follows the rules. Obviously, you're supposed to, uh, believers, you're supposed to thank the doubters for taking your channel points. Where did that start? Oh, yeah, it was, I think it was Jamie Park told us how they used to play the credit card game. And not only, so the credit card game, I don't know if it's still as popular in the Magic community, but it was, it's pretty popular in the poker and Magic community for a while. Is at the end of the meal, Everyone, everyone puts in a credit card and you shuffle them. 
and whoever loses just pays for the entire meal. Obviously, you can buy out and stuff. You can just pay your own. You know, if the bill's all too expensive or you don't want to gamble or you don't have con of to, etc. But and the fun way to do it is you shuffle all the cards and you 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 take them out one by one. So whoever whoever gets their card taken out first is safe. And then you you, you know you just keep doing that until there's only one card. And Jamie was telling us how when he plays the game, uh, Botanical Sanctum. Huh. Went up against something weird like. What would it even be? Combo deck? Neoform? Anyways. Not only did the people, person who lost, obviously had to pay for the entire meal. They also had to thank the thank the other people for uh for having the honor of paying for their meal. Oh, living end, right. Right. I don't know, I've never played the deck. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what's in that deck. Mm, I guess I messed up. If I knew I was up against living end, I probably should have just cast Ephemerate. That was all loose. Instead of adding another hierarch to the board. Now what? Now what, chat? <laughs> is living in a combo deck? I don't feel like living in is a combo deck. Some weird, weird entity. Hmm. Mm -mm. I mean, I guess I should just main face company, right? I don't know, it's all equally bad. Is Dredge good? Because I'm 5 0 uh, FNM last night against some good players and decks. I don't think so. I think Dredge just got kind of power crap. It's kind of annoying to have all the wave rewinder against my. Uh, My solitude hands. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do at this point. Just hope this time I don't have living end. May draw endurance, but I don't have a green card. Yeah, I mean, I totally, I totally messed up that game. I was supposed to ephemerate on turn two. Probably not going to make a difference, but that was pretty bad plays. Uh, I think Dredge just got power crept. You're just gonna lose games to just everyone's deck being so good, basically. Not that I see that dredge line lines up poorly and stuff, it's just Damn, triple river winder, even like the solitude trick doesn't really do anything for me. I would have an extra card, I would have an extra Hierarch, maybe I would have drawn an Endurance. Just terrible plays. A little late to party buddy, but yeah, I would have. Oh. I might, I might have been okay, I would have had an extra card. Oh yeah, I don't know, who knows how the game plays out, but. They have hex proof. It was kind of unreal that they had the triple river wonder draw. I need the verdict. Supreme verdict. Okay, I just spike sideboard in this matchup. Granulation into Vencer. One time warp. Boards out Deputy. Ah, he actually boards out Solitude. And the Wall of Omens. That's how Spike side boards. Meddling Mage. Protect your Meddling Mage. Oh, 
all the endurance, all the green cards, I guess, for endurance. Soul Horror as a threat, Company as a threat, Fencer for the Living End, and then Time Warp combo. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna trust that. I might trust that Spike, you know, tried a bunch of different configurations, and that kind of makes sense that Wolves just kind of trash against them, and Solitude's never gonna be enough. I think the reason why he doesn't keep in Solitude is because it's it just doesn't do enough the way the games play out. You could argue just more cantrips have more chance of drawing into endurance. I don't hate it. Start keep and start discarding to the end size. The next level play. Does Spike have a channel fireball right up for the deck? I think it's probably in uh, the pro. CFB Pro section. Yeah, it's CFB Pro content. So I'm not going to just share it on screen. Um, he's made a video on the YouTube uh, channel Fireball page, though, and obviously his stream. I'm not sure if his VODs are sub only or not. <clears throat> Spike is just a man of the people. <clears throat> Could have disputes. Ooh, I just understood the neat shadow spear comment now because of lose hex proof. I was confused earlier. I mean, I guess I should just play, uh, just say my soul herder, right? Your health for infinite turns. Not sure how that would work, but you already have infinite turns was witness, eternal witness plus ephemerate plus time warp or eternal witness plus soul herder plus time warp is infinite turns. I have to wake up really early tomorrow. I have to be somewhere at eight. It takes me like an hour to get there. To wake up at half past six. Dang. I mean, ephemerate now kind of sucks, but I guess I could get lucky. I could draw another ice fang, which would be really good, or. I could draw an endurance. So I think I need to try and get all lucky. That's really aggressive. Wow. Wait, what? Hey, Auntie. What's up? Father Fred and Lord Beers, I see you. You're not pigeon arriving. You've been here for a while. Damn, she's on vacation more often. What a, what a welcome back uh, gift. Negation. I guess I'm screwed either way. Auntie, you're on rail. Thank you so much. 20 gifted subs.
I don't ride on time endurance. Pumpy. I don't even know what to say, but it's, thanks, thanks a ton. Hope you're doing good. 21. Gifted a pure uh, sub to Professor Karras, who said the woe dodged easy. <laughs> have you, uh, have you found a, a spot to start playing uh, live magic against Aunt Auntie? I think we were talking about it the other day. Talking about getting back into the mix. Yeah, Auntie's just totally ridiculous. The one time I met her at the a pro tour, she she brought me. A, it was close to my birthday. I think it was my my birthday was it was during the pro tour, and she brought me. A birthday gift to just too nice. You've been slacking. I gotta gotta force yourself. At first, maybe just staying at home is kind of nice and cozy. But well, I don't know what you've been up to. But yeah, I haven't played a bunch of life magic. I think I might go play pretty soon this week i kind of have an excuse i have like these stupid trains that don't run late at night so it's not like the easiest and cab ride is it's not like super cheap but but yeah of course if you got a gifted sub from auntie feel free to uh to thank her Let's see any names I recognize. Ooh, Young Dingo got a gifted sub. Who else? Corey B got a gifted sub. It's like you handpicked them. All the streamers got a gifted sub. Naughty Twenty One got a, a gifted sub. That's all the names I recognize. Meddling Maid, Meddling Mage, and Endurance. Uh, well, I guess I just have to, uh, time warp, right? Or is Meddling Mage plus Soul Herder somehow good enough for now? Alright, I guess I'm not gonna play too, too scared. I feel like I need the extra push. It's not much, but it's, I guess, one more draw step, one more counter on Soul Herder. Yo, Andy, Andy2914, thank you so much for your Prime sub, appreciate it. Welcome to the sewer. Dentist says thank you. When's the last time I played Paper Magic? Probably just cubing with my friends, but I was, I don't even remember when. Ooh, Ice Fang, that's a draw. That's why we time warped, just that one extra draw step. Makes all the difference. I don't even have green if I wanted to. We do know they have Charlotte's Agent. So maybe I should just Meddling Mage here. Because my board's good enough to hold, right? I'm at six. Oh, Ice Fang is a no one, right? Oh, it still is giving me an engine. How do I have to block? I guess I have to chomp was endurance? That's not good. They're just gonna violent outburst my face. As I just chomp was meddling mage. I know I burst. I guess that's kind of good news, even though 
I got an island earlier so I could cast Melling and Soul Order in the same turn, and now I'm getting punished. I couldn't cast my Hierarch last turn. I guess it's not gonna matter. I mean, I might just win Violent Outburst at this point. We're gonna chump anyways. I'm gonna attack. Blink Ice Fang, Blink. Oh my gods, I click no. I don't know why I click no. At least I click no on the endurance one. Well, that was awkward. Oh. I don't know why I click no. Don't ask. Damn. We're back to we're back to early 22, 20, 2022 gab, yeah, just XO into XX. Free O into free free. Wheels completely falling off. Yeah, I was thinking of endurance trigger DF4. I think that's what happened actually. But you don't even click no on, on the trigger, you click like something else right yeah apparently living in hard matchup you'd think it'd be okay after sideward i didn't have the hate bears in my opening hands this one or zero is the same thing probably it's funny, I drew a free meddling mage. All right, I don't think I can draw anything, but maybe maybe a company, maybe a perfect company. <laughs> we'll always have memes chat. They can't take memes away from us. I need a like flying crusade effect. I want that to give attention. Land. How dare they? They said just naming random cards LOL. Definitely not random. Uh, maybe I was supposed to mulligan aggressively. My hand was kind of sweet. It was like Ice Fang Company, Time War, Freelance. I think I had maybe already mulligan too. Uh, I mean, I think you just keep right, hope to draw a cheap card and. Hope to catch up a bit with company. Mm. Maybe I'll just play uh, Waffle's Blue White List tomorrow if I play the Modern Challenge. If I make it back on time. We saw John with three losses. I might, I might just play the last round of stream. I might just play this round and I'm getting a little tired. And yeah, just that, I guess. Should be Pioneer. Should I do Pioneer over Modern? I like starting with Modern. This way I have like, if ever things go really poorly and I go O2, I have the backup. But maybe it's just wrong. Spire of Industry. Sounds like the kind of matchup where I might want to try and have Death Touch on turn three. Appreciate everyone tuning in for a day back from vacation. Also really grateful for all the resubs, especially Nearly TV and Auntie was the crazy amounts of gifted subs. Pioneer is gas, yeah. Oh, there's the... There's the Pioneer Showcase tomorrow. Harry MTG is uh, is qualified. But a shout out to the sponsors. You've got Channel Fireball. 
you want access to great strategy content, you can check out CFB Pro. It's a uh, premium content, but definitely worth it. Tons of uh, deck guides with sideboard guides for every major archetype in every format. They've got pretty much every deck covered, plus some more. Channel Fireball also has a YouTube page. If you like YouTube videos, you can check them out on YouTube. You can use my code Yellow Hat at checkout on, on Channel Fireball. That helps me out. And um, yeah, stream is also sponsored by Ultimate Guards. They make amazing deck boxes, amazing sleeves. I got a bunch here. I may have dropped one from the bag. Whoops, yoga mats. Wrecking Havoc, but that version. Yeah, they have a bunch of uh, shape forms, etc., etc. Let's go full screen with the ads. All that stuff I'll probably give away at some point at live tournaments. Probably try to do something like giveaway to my subs or something like. Basically, this, the first subs that come up to me, I'll just have a bunch of stuff to give away. I'm not sure how I'm going to make people prove they're, they're who they claim they are, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. But yeah, ultimateguard.com. If you're looking for high quality uh, deck boxes and sleeves, definitely check them out. Stream giveaway. I should. I just can't get over paying more for shipping the stuff than it's worth. I don't know. Maybe I mean, it just makes me cheap. I just, I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I'm pretty generous overall, but for some stuff, I just can't get it. It doesn't make, you know, much sense. I guess that's what people do to like grow their stream and stuff. I guess I don't care enough. I'm not, I'm not in that logic. Just bad businessman. <laughs> Just do it for friend subs. Okay. List why people happy. <laughs> sharing my streak so you look at the ban list. Hey, Bachi. Oh, I missed. I actually missed it. I didn't see you were sharing a link. Ask Ultimate Guard about gift certificates giveaway. Yeah, I could do that. I mean, I could do both, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, like, Wizards could do all something, you know? Like, give us gift. I don't know why they don't do that. They just did, like, give, like, codes for Arena to give away. I feel like a lot of other games do that. Ma foi, pas vu que la ronde commençait, j'ai même pas son numéro, je crois. J'ai pas moyen de le contacter. Yeah, maybe I should just ask. Maybe they do it if you ask. But it's kind of wild that... It doesn't even have to be, like, worth hundreds of dollars, but just anything's kind of... Like, that's something I would do if you could just pay for codes to... I'd buy codes to give them away. I mean, I could give away like magic online ticks. You have done it before. That's something. Anyways, um, do I need to kill that right away? They don't have too much going on. I'll save it. Hmm, I think I messed up. I think I should have just done Soul Herder, start getting value, and then I could trade if I wanted to. I mean, it's not like the last round was cut short, right? There was a time when Nomad would give away arena codes. Yeah, maybe it was codes people uh, gave to him sometimes people do that they'll have codes they don't use like value vizier was offering earlier he had a code actually maybe maybe he he messaged me wanna still wanna still want to do the the giveaway for your arena code for one booster pack value if you're still here 
Did Oracle make it uh, back to his desk? Imagine logging into Arena. I'm going to be playing Alchemy. Kind of looking forward to it. Probably going to be fun. It was fun last time in Explorer. You can buy Arena codes from MCM. Oh, okay. I'll look into that. Maybe I'll I'll do that then. Just people who have them who who sell them. That's yeah. That's that makes sense. What do you think? MHG has a positive or a negative effect regarding modern? Um, I think I would say it was positive for a while. Anyways, we're getting to a point where maybe the format's getting a little stale now, but. I think modern was maybe better for a decent while. All right, what's that band monstrosity? Strict Proctor deck. All right, oh, it's a Lotus Field deck. Okay, I was like, why are you playing Strict Proctor? So this is Explorer. Bant. Instead of just blue white, you're playing Bant. And it looks like you have way too many expensive cards and also you're just playing meme cards. I'd probably not play just bad magic cards in my deck like Jason Rattler of Secrets. Kind of a fan of at least a mix of stifle and discontinuity too. I I mean I realize discontinuity has like nice late game applications, but I'm not sure it's quite worth it. I feel like the turn to stifle play is pretty relevant. UG giveaway to top sub gifters, but then it's not really a giveaway. I'm not sure I'm allowed to do that actually. I mean, I could, and I think I have before kind of done a giveaway just for my subs, but I, I think technically you're not allowed to, because then it's kind of like gambling. Because, like, people sub to your channel to get giveaways, and it can be... I mean, it's kind of one of these, these stupid, like, anti gambling laws that makes no sense, but... And I think I'm just supposed to hold on to my solitude in case they get a... Trample, trample thingy, right? Might just be that if they have a... Uh... If they have Rebuke? No, I guess I can... I might just pitch pitch soul harder to solitude to not lose your rebuke. We'll see. Yep, no gambling, but buying a booster pack with random cards in it is fine. Oh yeah, no, I know. They run blacksmith scale now. I do believe they run some amounts of rebukes in the main though. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sorry. Fourteen six. I actually gonna lose this game somehow. There's no way, right? Have they played the land this turn yet? They have not, so technically you can still have lands and move both equipments. Alright, I guess that resolves. What do you think they're doing? No, I'm not going to Vegas. Yeah, there's worlds, there's big events during worlds, there's, it's like, kind of starts off the 30th, Magic's 30th anniversary. I'm not going though. Vegas is all too far. Should be really awesome though. Sounds like it's going to be really fun. Unless, unless monkeypox get us all by then. Cancel because of monkeypox, rip. 
I actually don't know if they have rebuke in the main. I feel like they never cast a rebuke against me. Whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it. It's like. I don't know. Do I win though if I play that? If I play scare like that? Because if they have rebuke, they're gonna rebuke my company. And I'm still in kind of a bad spot. Quad's ice ring is wall better because of bigger butts. Probably. I did it now was evoke on the stack so that I could get lucky and draw an ephemerate of uh why not New York? Because to do it in a cold place in New York, it'd probably be really expensive. <clears throat> hey, Sacramento, yeah. Well, Blossom was also one of my favorite cards. Still is, I guess. So how do I deal with all Shadow Spear thing every turn? Just a solitude a turn. Sustainable. Is that it just hard cast solitude right at this point? This way I can get the hopefully get the solitude loop going. Definitely feels pretty hazy right now. You gotta go. I'll ask you earlier again if you wanted to. I don't know if you weren't there five minutes ago or if I missed your answer. Send you the arena codes of yours. Know that you used it for. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll give it away next time I stream arena. Kind of makes more sense. But thanks. Well, I'll, I'll do it now. Second plating. Is that just? I don't have mana. How am I ever gonna kill them, chat? How am I ever supposed to kill them? Infinite turns, yeah, that's a good point. And I construct could be huge. Okay. That was a draw. Maybe back up solitude for now. Tap Hallowed Fountain. That's sorry. Basically, we have a leak on our uh, like our shower, like, and we looked into it, and plumber seems to say that we had to replace everything, the whole like shower head thing. And I was like, okay, let's do it. But then Liz was like, she looked it up, and she thought like, you don't have to replace like, is yeah. Anyways, yeah, this seems to think that it's, you don't have to just replace the whole thing. You can just replace the, whatever rubber piece or who knows, you know, what whatever it is. And, but then she's been pretty busy with work and she hasn't taken care of it. So now what we do is, I don't know if it's messes, it can mess up the pipes or anything, but what we've been doing is just uh, closing the, so that it stops dripping, we just closed them. Um, the valve, the, I don't know how to say it. We just basically shut down the water, you know? So every time we want to take a shower, now we have to shut down and or turn on or 
open the valves, open the the water pipes, close the water pipes when we're done, so it's like one leak. There's this game one they've been playing really slowly for for some reason. <clears throat> I mean, it seems like we just pretty trivial win from from here, right? Okay, I've just left now. I was, I was trying my nephew how to open the water and stuff so he can take a shower. Um, what do you think, chat? Should I start attacking? Let's see if they scoop to infinite turn. Could try and like time me out, I guess, or make up some time. Only three turns, yeah. I mean, eventually I'm just gonna assign to all their creatures and attack them with all my creatures every turn. I'm gonna draw a soul herder. I should just stack with one. <laughs> Give me a little time. Wait, did I not cast Time Warp? Okay, I did. I got, I got scared for a second. I, I saw my Time Warp in hand and I was like, I just loop and forget. Well, I guess I want to play it out. Fine by me. Kind of enjoying myself. I think it's when you're so far behind on time. I can kind of see it. I'm not even upset. You shouldn't be so far on time in the first place, but. Do you think you play the most out of the CFB guys nowadays? Nah, no way. I think Spike plays way more than me, right? Spike plays a ton of stream too. Uh, let's cast the company. I guess I could have just Solitude, Ephemerate, etc. It'd be funny if they actually do time me out. So I could, yeah, it's like one step back, two step forward, so. All right, I'm bored. Opponents being unreal. It was fun for a second, but I'm off it. How'd it got me? I tapped out low enough that I don't have a uh, time spiral mana anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Classic. Like the boys, they go right on in.
paid off. Told you I was a little tired. Basically lost. Just gonna lose to Fling. I don't know why the exile zone while the card doesn't show in. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it, it, I mean, I mean, I guess it's fair game, but also really when we're like free and free fighting for a min cash. That's 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 what they want to be doing. Probably not play a second ephemera, it's just be slower. Finally. This is worse than combo decks. <clears throat> Harg's getting in there. Whatever, I'm not getting a time warp. I'm off it. Yeah, Marcos, I agree. It worked, though. I mean, their plan worked. They didn't make up... Uh... They made up time. Whatever. I'm just going to smash them with some sideboard cards. Oh, my God. Did I just not kill them? And now they have Welding Jar. But our plan is really working. I don't know, I had lethal anyways. Collective, Night, Deputy, Solitude, Endurance can go. They might have Graveyard Hate, so I could trim like Witness. Trim Witness, trim a Time Warp. Maybe only Priest Solitude's enough. I guess against the old creature deck, I should probably max my odds of going Solitude Ephemerate. Alright, chat, let's do the giveaway for. Let's do the giveaway for Value Vizio's Arena Booster Pack. I see better if you play, if you actually have an Arena account and I'm going to use it, but. I think it's a code arena for one booster pack. Big, big high stakes, but still appreciate it. Giveaway. Giveaway blink. Type blink in chat if you want a chance at a, an arena code for a booster pack. We got some first time chatters. Got them. Second first time chatter. Blink, blink, blink. Hopefully the code works. I think they usually work when people do that, but obviously if they don't, it's probably not intentional and not my fault. I cannot be held responsible. Uh, you cannot sue me. All right, I'll give people another 30 seconds. Anyone interested by a code for an arena booster pack? I think this said Value Vizio sets SNC booster pack, but let's see in court. Yeah, I gotta drag me into court. Yikes. Okay, they can make a 2 2. 
So I guess it's fairly safe to attack. To soul herder beatdowns. Blancs. All right. And the giveaway winner is. Oh, my cousin, JDS Wagic. Clearly rigged. I have no idea who that person is. JDS Wagic. Congrats. I'll message you in a second. Or if you can message me, maybe that's even better. Yeah, it's actually my cousin. JDS Magic is my, is, is my, not my cousin, my nephew. Come let that sweet, sweet value go to, go, go to waste. Hi, JDS Magic, if you can just message me like hi or something. Hello, cousin. No, I'm your uncle. You're supposed to be my nephew. Come on, pay attention. T. Fred did get missed. I did mess up to and say cousin at some point. Ooh, JPS San Jose has also some codes. Okay, let's. Then ninety five percent to be unredeemed. Wait, how many codes is that? All right, Jose, why don't we save them for another day? Because I think that. Oh wait, what just happened? I was doing so great. How did it get? Wow, what the hell? Well, I guess it just happened. I thought I was winning that game easily. Am I just very dead? I mean, I can solitude a couple of creatures, but... Wow. Um, I mean, I guess just the tokens. I guess I mostly have to worry about the flyers right now. So as long as they don't have a, fl a plating, um, maybe I can live. I'm getting a lot of blink effect. These solarers are getting very large, but might be too slow. Mm. JTS magic. Magic. Are you French? Magic is kind of something we use in. There you are. Here, here's the codes and the O might be a zero. Let me know if it works. All right, no plating in sight or live. Yeah, we can exile three more of their creatures next turn with mimic mimic solitude and then bling both. Uh okay, that's bad for me. That is also not great for me. Alright, I need the uh, top deck in the next couple turns. Believe the kids say easy clap. Might still not be enough. I might even be dead on board. I didn't I didn't really uh haven't been counting exactly. Alright, obviously this doesn't work the best for me. Can only exile the side two to once. Yeah, drawing some more cards.
All right, we're not dead. It's excellent news. Not being dead is nice. Wait, I didn't even attack with... Uh... Getting a Shadow Spear next turn. I guess I want to get rid of Ginger Brute. Can I afford uh, an attack here? Oh, I guess I skipped my attack set. I'm not even sure what happened there. Oh no. Um, kill two more. It feels like I might be able to kill two. Oh no, they're gonna have an extra token. Hmm, I'm not gonna attack. Might be dead to. Oh, 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 oh. No, I think it's fine. I was gonna say that I mess up the order, but I don't think you can mess up the order because it resolved one by one. Yeah. I guess I'll just get the bigger ones. Hey, what just happened? Okay, yeah. It takes forever to resolve too many triggers. I was like, did I misclick again and not get one of the solitudes? The losses, I lost to Merktide once, I lost to Four Color once, and I lost to Living End. I went 1 1 against Merktide, 0 1 against Four Color was Counterspell and Elad Emery's Call. They had Witness Ephemerate, and I lost to just Living End. We didn't see Grief against Living End. I've seen a few people advocating for no griefs. Someone on Twitter the other day was claiming grief is a scam. Um, but yeah. All right, chat. I'm going to raid Wapo. He's five and one. I'm <laughs> sorry.